right, uh, welcome to my bottle shop uh, YouTube G'day, review. We are here with welcome Marcus. Back. Welcome back. And welcome back. Uh, Rock. Uh, good to be here. Yeah, good uh, Marcus. Friday night here in Sydney. Yes. So, what have you got for us today, mate? Well, uh, I'm very well. excited about this. <laughs> well, the long awaited black and whiskey. Ooh. Now, we did get a bit of this uh, previously, but we haven't actually tried it just because we ordered a, mm. a very limited number of bottles. Um, and it went out the door. So, yeah, you know, we didn't get to try it ourselves. So, you know, due to popular demand, we're getting it back. Right. So, and I kept the ball for us this time. So, so the the um, I suppose the tagline or their marketing pitch is blackened whiskey is American whiskey aged in black brandy casks, pummeled by the earth shattering music of Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Pummeled by the so very clever. So very now. Clever. Um, so, yeah. so you can see there. There's a bit of a, I suppose, uh, I suppose what would you say, yeah, sound, like sound waves, waves, sound yeah, waves yeah, on yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah, now yeah. you've got a bit of a story to tell us about. Yes. Um, yeah, well, we all know who Metallica yes, is, course, right? And a Sandman. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and I don't know why. I suppose they've jumped on the celebrity bandwagon. Yes. Well, um, that's what I first thought. I guess when uh, you know Blackton came out, I thought, oh, here we go, yet another celebrity whiskey. Um, and as you know, the, the past four of celebrity whiskeys, I didn't really have too much hopes for it. So, you know, it's very interesting to see you know, what you think as well, Rock, you know, mm. based on this one, because I don't know how it's going to go. I don't have high hopes, but I have <laughs> heard and read, you know, differing views on it. Well, so, you're, you're going off Conor McGregor's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that was the very last time we tried and that didn't end too Conor, well. Conor McGregor's. Um, what was the name? Anyway, yeah. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot the name. Yeah, it's gone yeah, so quickly yeah. from our memory. <laughs> Proper 12. Proper 12. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, we, we did sell a lot of Proper 12 and we released it around St. Patrick's Day and people lined up around the block. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it did create a bit of a hype. Yeah, yeah, um, it did. Yeah. And, and we got to taste it after things had settled down. Unfortunately, actually, it wasn't on our YouTube channel. Mm. Um, but we were disappointed. Yeah. And, terrible, terrible. And uh, so, uh, you know, after about what? Sixth or seventh class? Yeah, we thought yeah, it was great. Yeah, that's, that's when it started getting good. But yeah, no. So, based on form, don't really have hopes for it, but um, you know, to give you a bit of a background Ooh, wow. for those of you that are, that are familiar, I guess, with the whiskey aging process, it's actually a bit of science behind this. Oh, model, okay, model, yeah, believe yeah. it or not, wrong. Mm. Um, the sonic enhancement technique—it's very similar to that, and that are you? They use that um, with whiskey aging, but this is a little bit different. Um, I never knew that to be honest yeah, with you. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this—they use a similar technique, but for the finishing That's instead amazing. of the aging. Um, now, what they do pretty much is they. Place the speakers next to the barrels during the finishing process. They really? blast music and Metallica yeah. songs. Now you can find the Metallica songs that they blast. Um, they are these bottles are released in batches. If you look up the batch numbers, you will see what songs were played for the different right. batch releases. Right. So this is batch eighty nine. Yeah, How 89. am I going to know? Where do I go to find out what are my what songs have pummeled this bottle? <laughs> Google's your friend there. It's definitely. Google. I think actually we put it on our blog. I think. Oh yeah, it's on the blog too. I think so. Even better. I think yeah. so. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely all there. It's hard to pull um, this. So eighty nine, did you say? Batch eight, yeah, zero eight nine. We're taking yeah. the sticker yeah. off it. And funnily enough, yeah, they um, they started from batch. It's not the 89th release, believe it or not. It actually started from eighty one, uh, because I think. 1981 is the year ah, that they uh, Metallica was uh, founded or started yeah, or whatever. They formed, so that's right, why they right. started at number 81. Now, okay. um, it was created by the late Dave Pickerel, Pickerel uh, celebrity RIP. distiller. <laughs> RIP. Um, so you will have actually been rumoured that um, they've got, I guess, a little bit of Maker's Mark and Whistle Pick um, in the bottle because he is did take a, a few, few different whiskies um, to mm. create this, uh, you know, especially he was actually called upon. By Metallica well, think, to create their own product. I think he, so did do a bit of, he did do a bit of work for um, yeah. Whistle Peak too, didn't he? Yes, Dave? yes, I yep, yep. think he did because they originally started out in Vermont yep. and they were just um, sourcing their whiskies around the place. And I think Definitely. they consulted, uh, got him to consult. But of course, Maker's Marks are very famous. Yeah, yeah, from Kentucky. So I think there is elements of both in here. Um, I, you know, I am very keen to, I guess, get into it because of that alone. Um, it's not just another celebrity, I guess, put mate, uh, put together. Mate, this is uh, I mean, from look, someone very famous and very known for his whiskey I tell you what, making, mate, so. you, you put your nose around that. Yeah. That smells amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's wow. got a real sweet, um, you know, a really yeah, discernible note there. And I mean, yeah. they say it's black brandy. So brandy is yeah. like a cognac. So the great distilled spirit, I suppose it's got to be a bit, 
you know, a bit sweet. Yeah, maybe. very sweet. Yeah, you can definitely smell the honey. You smell it, honey. Yes, yeah, yeah, honey. Maybe, honey. maybe, maybe yeah. uh, some caramel in there as well. Ooh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely a very sweet nose to it. Yeah, it's got a real um, bourbon note to it. I mean, Dave Pickle was famous for doing his bourbons, mm -hmm. like Maker's Mark and so forth. Correct. Um, you know, straight off the nose, it smells to me like a bourbon. I mean, they call it American whiskey, so it's obviously not whatever it is, 51% core, made in America, all the conditions that make a bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, but it smells, it does it does, it does, smell good and it's, how many percent? 45%. It's 45. 45%. 45%. Yeah. All right, well, let's, so, um, um, let's yeah, give it a bit of a taste then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. So, um, straight away, I'm hit up with those, um, Caramel, wow. caramelized honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you get the honey. You get that real. It's got a real uh, bite to it too. Yes, it? yes, yeah, yeah. Well, I can see you gobbling away. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It's burning all the way down, <laughs> yeah. right? It's look. It's it's very <laughs> sweet, but it doesn't have the spicy elements to it as well. Why it has got a um, spicy note? You can definitely yeah. take the you know uh, the taste of oak as well, but mm. there's also almost a, a bit of a fruity, I guess, tinge to it as well. Mm. Maybe like apricot. Or really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that. A bit of a fruity tinge towards the. Yeah, the I totally so get the apricot. It's, um, yeah, yeah, I love I'm it. Actually, digging this. I tell you what, this is um, this is a real deal. Like yeah. we've had quite a few celebrity whiskies go through here, and, <laughs> well, and my bottle shop, you know, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. We're talking to you. <laughs> actually, yeah, we've had quite a few celebrity whiskey. In fact, on our website, we've got a whole a category just yeah. to, um, uh, sell, uh, I suppose designated to. Well, dedicated to celebrity uh, releases. We've had uh, uh, tequila from yeah, ACDC. Uh, well, ACDC, yeah. ZZ yeah. Top. Yeah. Um, uh, we've 50 had Cent. 50 Cent. Yeah. We've had Ryan different Rose. rappers. P, P. Yeah. Diddy. Yeah. Bob yeah. Dylan's yeah. been. Uh, we've had his whiskey here yeah, recently. He did the Long Branch. La, what? Well, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. we've had yeah, good, um, Conor McGregor. <laughs> Conor McGregor's probably, the latest so, one. Yeah, yeah, mate. So it's all all yeah. been happening. Yeah, but yeah, this, yeah. Mate, this is fantastic. What, I, do, what yeah. do you think? Well, you're we, we, yeah. your whiskey man. You yeah, love your whiskey. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Now I'm very surprised. Um, as I said, I didn't. I mean, don't think... lie, Marcus. No, no, don't no, lie to I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie because if it's shit, I'll tell you guys if it's shit. Um, and that's what I was expecting it to be. Um, this is definitely not in that category. I'm very surprised by this. I, I, I definitely think this is an awesome whiskey. And the, look, one thing I was surprised you told me just before when we were prepping mm. is that um, there's only 5,000 bottles per, oh, yes, batch, per batch. Per batch. Which yeah. I was shocked, to be honest, yeah. given there's only, I think, what would you say, 81 yeah. was the start and yeah. we're at 89. 89. So yeah. that's eight. Um, that's eight batches, so yeah. eight times five is 40,000 mm. for the world. Yeah, for the whole world. Well, that's Australia. not a lot of bottles, mm. given there'd be plenty of places that would release um, 40,000 a day, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they yeah, would release 40,000 bottles a day. Yeah. So you're going to have to be quick to get your bottles, and we only have a tiny, tiny allocation here in Australia, yeah. as yeah. usual, right? That's but right. it is a 750 mil bottle, and it is 45%. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, if you love Metallica, you have to have this whiskey. Um, yeah, goes down well, mate. Does, I like does. it. So I definitely recommend, guys. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see today. And um, stay tuned for the next one. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.